Hmm. That doesn't look quite right. That's silver. Yeah, large white eggs. Great value, 12 eggs. Net weight, 24 ounces. And some of those eggs look a lot smaller. I mean, look at this little one here. And these right here. Now that one looks like a little bigger one. And so does this. This one looks small. It's just wiggling around. Where this one, not so much. Or over here. These look larger than this one. That one looks larger than this one. I really never noticed that. It's like they mixed up my eggs during packaging. Huh. Let's check into that. Yeah, that just don't look right. I mean, I bought a carton of large eggs. They should all be large, right? That's what I think so. But I'm going to check into that and dig deep and see just what and how eggs are sized in the U.S. of A. Oh, well, hello there, friends and family. And like you can see, we're here in the country kitchen and we're always glad you came. And we were getting ready to make some egg salad when I opened up a carton of eggs and could noticeably see, as maybe you did, that some of the eggs aren't quite up to size. So, I had to go check and see what was up with that. Are we getting cheated or ripped off? Now because, you know, supposedly egg supplies are so low because the avian bird flu? Or is something else going on? So, hey, grab a cold drink and a snack. Sit down in your chair. And let me tell you a little bit about how egg sizes are uh, graded and what the USDA actually regulates. Okay? So, friends and family, I actually dug into this because I don't normally see a noticeable difference in my eggs in a carton. And what I found out was that there's actually six sizes of eggs, not grades. There's actually three grades. There's double A, A, and B. What we normally buy is right here. Yeah. Grade A. That's what we get. I've never actually seen or purchased grade B. Or for that matter, grade double A. And what also I didn't know when it comes to grades was the fact that unless you see the USDA seal somewhere on the carton, you know, they've not been graded by the USDA. That's a voluntary thing that egg producers can do. But it's expensive and they have to pay for it. But they can grade them as per what the USDA guidelines say to do and put it on the carton just like they have here too. Just a little another pun tip. But there are actually six grades for the size of eggs. I mean, we all know them. The ones we're familiar with, mostly in our grocery stores anymore, are medium, large, extra large, and jumbo. But there's two other grades. There's a peewee and a small. Yes, sir. I can remember back in the day when at Superfoods, you could buy small, medium, large, extra large, jumbo, and what have you. But, all, pretty much all the stores have today is from medium to jumbo. And each one of those is not sized by the actual size of the egg. But, and this is the part I didn't know. By the weight of the egg is what makes and determines the classification for size. But even more that I didn't know is the USDA does not regulate the individual size of the eggs. It regulates the weight of a carton. And I'll explain a little bit about that before we test our carton of eggs here. So for a peewee egg, they've got to weigh at least 1.41 ounces. A small egg 
is 1.41 to 1.66 ounces or 18 ounces per dozen and that's the per dozen weight the USDA regulates. A medium should be 1.67 of an ounce to 1.91 or 21 ounces per carton. Large eggs are 1.92 ounce to 2.16 each or 24 ounces per carton just like it says here. Net weight 24 ounces 1 pound 8 ounces or 681 grams. The extra large is 2.17 to 2.41 ounces per egg, 27 ounces per 12 dozen in a cart. And then lastly, the jumbo is 2.42 and above for a minimum weight of 30 ounces per carton. And it's at ounces per carton that what the USDA actually regulates. And with that said, actually, per the USDA, you can have a mix of size of eggs in a carton. I mean, there could be some small in here, some medium. There could be some jumbos or extra large. The only thing that matters is these 12 eggs which must total 24 ounces. And that's true. You can look all this up too. And these are the things that I didn't know. But since we have some eggs here, and I just happen to have a scale, let's weigh a few of these that look questionable and see just what they are. So we're going to tear our scale out to ounces. And we're going to take one of these that appear to be larger. This one right here. I'm going to set it on the scale and see what it weighs. Well, right there. It weighs 2.1 ounces. Yeah, that's a large because a large can weigh 1.92 to 2.16. But let's get out one of these much smaller ones right here. This one. Well, it's at 1.9, so it too is an extra large. But this little one here, this much more tinier one, let's see what it weighs. It weighs, did you see that? 1.8. So that is actually a medium, because the medium range is 1.67 to 1.91 ounces. So that little medium egg was snuck in to my package carton of large eggs. Let's see what this one is. And that one is 2.0 ounces. So it too is a large. So out of these eggs, indeed, it would appear they snuck in a medium on me. Let's get this one right here. Oh, it's at the bare minimum of 1.9. So, I got one medium, and I'm thinking all the rest. If we look at the carton, we'll probably be large. Even though some, apparently, look a lot smaller. This one to this one, this one to this one. Yeah. I can see a difference. Hope the camera can pick it up. But let me show you another carton of eggs. We'll set these right over here. Now what I have here is some eggs I bought in Clover Valley from Dollar General just the other day. Because I knew I was going to be doing some things with eggs. And let's take a look at them. Well pretty much they all look Pretty close to the same. Well, except the one that I've already grabbed out of here and cooked up. I wasn't paying any attention to which carton of eggs I grabbed yesterday. But let's weigh a few of these and see what we got. 
Now that one's 2.2. Yep, still, still a large. Let's try this one. Oh, that one's 2.4. That would actually be near the top of the range for extra large, which is 2.41. Not a large. So, hey, we lucked out. Let's try another one with the Clover Valley brand. It weighs 2.3. That would be an extra large. You see what I'm saying? Here's another one of the Clover Valley. It also weighs 2.3. An extra large egg. So I'm, I'm much better off. With the uh, Clover Valley. Than I was. With the Great Value. That one's 2.4. So all of these pretty much, with the exception of the first one, and maybe this one here, yep, it's 2.2, .2, which would make that a large. We'll do one more. We won't do every one. That one there is 2.3. That would be an extra large. So, we got some extra large in our large. And on the great value over there, we had some large and a medium. Yep, or ones that were barely a large. So, as long as these, the whole point is, like I say, the USDA doesn't regulate even though there is a weight classification for each size, they regulate how many ounces are in the cart. Did you know all that? Because I surely did not. So I thought I would share that with you the next time you open a carton of eggs and you think you might be getting ripped off, you're probably not. But to make sure of that, that we're not getting ripped off, by Walmart and the Great Value brand, I'm gonna weigh up that carton of eggs and see if we got our 24 ounces like we're supposed to. So, to check how much the eggs in that carton actually weigh, we're gonna put that plastic bowl up here. We're gonna tear off our scales. And we're gonna start putting in the eggs, carefully. Cause I gotta make egg salad. And I don't need to break my eggs. There's all 12 in them. And it says one pound, seven ounces, and seven tenths. Come on, Walmart. You can do better than that. You cheated me out of three tenths of an ounce. So, yeah, that one uh, medium sized egg made the carton weigh three tenths of an ounce too little. Yeah, I guess it could be worse. <laughs> Who knew? They got me, my three-tenths of an ounce. Yeah, I can live with that. Well, there you have it, friends and family. I just thought it'd be interesting to let you know, because I didn't know. I actually thought eggs were graded by their physical size. I didn't know it was by weight. Nope, I did not. And then I would have thought that it was regulated by individual egg size, which it's not. It's by carton weight. And that's not only true here in the U.S. of A., but in the European Union, and the U.K. too, and maybe some other places I didn't check on. So yeah, I hope that was a little bit informational and educational on how eggs are sized. And uh, maybe you knew it, maybe you didn't. But I've got to get making some eggs out. And as always, 
I'll leave some of the links that I use to learn about egg sizes and classifications in the description below the video. So if you like to read and learn more, by all means, click on the links, go there, and enjoy. So until I, the kitty crew, you know them all, Cleo, Spooky, Fluffy Muffin, and my little princess of the house, Gracie, see y'all in that next video and episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. And may God bless you all as you bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now. Uh, now, put the eggs back in the carton. Get ready to steam me up some. And get this egg salad started. I'm getting hungry. Later all.